What's happening guys? Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick and on this channel I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. Today's video is going to be more of a tutorial. After my last video about the Avalanche Network, some people requested that I do a walkthrough of how to provide liquidity and how to deposit that liquidity into Yield Yak. So if you've already been providing liquidity for a while, if you're already familiar with Yield Yak, you can probably skip this video. I'll have another video later today with a specific yield farming strategy on the Avalanche Network. All right, let's get into it. So first thing to understand before you provide liquidity is what that actually means. For a decentralized exchange like Pangolin or Uniswap or SushiSwap, rather than the exchange keeping a central order book and having liquidity, a pool of tokens that they're using to uh, facilitate trades between users, you, the user, can actually provide liquidity. And then in return, you get a portion of the fees on the service. And the way that you provide liquidity is that you provide liquidity between a specific pair. So, for example, you could on Pangolin provide liquidity between AVEX and LINK. And if you were to do this, then anyone who trades between AVEX and LINK, a portion of their fees would go back to you. The second thing to understand is that because of the way liquidity pools work as far as uh, balancing out and determining the price, the two halves of the liquidity pool always have to be equal. So that means that if you're providing $1,000 of liquidity to this pair, you have to provide $500 of AVEX and $500 of LINK. All right, so let's get into it then. So the first thing we're going to need to do is figure out which pool we actually want to provide liquidity for. To do that, I always like to go to Yield Yak, hop over to Farms, and then you can sort by Farm TVL if you want to see the most popular pools, but I always like to go to APY, or at least in this case I do. So you can see there's a lot here from a lot of different platforms. Some of them, we've got that 10,000% or more APY. We're going to filter to just Pangolin here. So there's still some nice pools in Pangolin. And uh, the one with the highest APY right now is the Qi AVEX pool. So Qi Benchi Protocol is a new lending and borrowing platform that launched on Avalanche just last week. So let's provide liquidity on this. Good tokens to own anyways, and it's got a pretty nice APY. So hopping back over to Pangolin, the first thing that we need to do is convert half of the AVEX that we're putting into the pool into the Qi token. So we had to change this to AVAX DeFi tokens. I don't love how Pangolin separates out the lists for different types of tokens, but it is what it is. So we filter to Qi, and then let's say we're going to put 30 AVAX into this total. So I'll convert 15 over to Qi. Swap. Confirm swap. And then the nice thing about, well, one of the many nice things about Avalanche is that this is fast enough that I can just do it in real time on the video right now. You can see it's pending. It'll probably finish in about 10 seconds or so. There we go. So it's already finished. And you can see our chi appeared in our wallet. Now we hop over to the pool section. So this is where you actually will provide liquidity and get the liquidity pool tokens that you need for Yield Yak. We click on Add Liquidity. We select our tokens. So AVEX and chi are the two that we're going to do. And then I'll do max G because we have a bit more AVEX than we have, than we're putting into the pool. Select supply. Confirm supply. And by the way, if you've never done this before, MetaMask might require some more confirmations than it's asking me for, but if you sign them, then you'll be able to move forward. There we go, already done. I think that was, what, four or five seconds? There we go. So there is our liquidity position. For some reason, these liquidity pool tokens are extremely expensive. So uh, we have a whole bunch of zeros, but uh, that's actually worth about 30 AVEX, this token. So that is our liquidity pool token. If you were to go to your wallet now, in addition to the tokens that you uh, actually owned, you would also have a Pangolin liquidity token. Now let's go back to Yield Yak. So the reason that we're doing this on Yield Yak instead of on Pangolin itself is that Yield Yak is an auto compounder. So on Pangolin, you'd probably have to claim your 
your uh, PNG rewards, so the rewards that Pangolin provides you for using their platform in addition to the liquidity fees. But on Yieldiac, the platform takes care of all that and then just compounds it back into the pool. So uh, this is would show how much is in our wallet, and there's just so many zeros that we can't see it. But if we select max, we can see that that there is something there. And then we click on deposit. I confirm the transaction. You can see there we go. So now on Yieldiac, we can see uh, this farm it has about $1,500 in it, earning 120% APR, 231% compound APY, and just on regular intervals, it depends on the pool. It's roughly, I think, every hour, every few hours. Uh, this is going to, the rewards will get compounded back into the pool. So your number of liquidity pool tokens will go up. And then if the value of the coins goes up, then then the value of each liquidity pool token goes up. So that is the basics of how to provide liquidity on Avalanche, how to put that liquidity in Yield Yak. Let me know down below if you found this video helpful. And also let me know if there are any other tutorials you'd like to see. And if you, found this video, if you did find this video helpful, then be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. Like in the description as well. That's all for today. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.